Hello, today I'll be showing you how to set up and configure the special portable version of DOSBox, which uses uh, emulated networking to allow multiplayer games to run over real IPX networks or tunneled over the internet using a program called Kali, uh, which you might know is an old DOS and early Windows program that lets you play IPX based games over the internet. Uh, once you have your zip file, just extract it. I'm going to extract it just to a folder on my desktop. There we go. We'll open up the folder that's been extracted. Uh, we've got a few files in here. Um, depending on your Windows installation or which one works for you, uh, we need to install one of these uh, PCAP programs. There's uh, WinPCAP, which is the original, um, a port of it for Windows 10 called Win10 PCAP, and uh, a more modern version of the whole thing called NPCAP. Um, I use WinPCAP uh, because it works the best for me. I'm also on Windows 10, uh, but I've had other people report that NPCAP was the one that worked best for them, or uh, Win 10 PCAP was the one that worked best for them. Um, I think it depends on um, your system configuration, the network card you're using, um, whether or not you're on Wi Fi, things like that. Um, so for now, just install uh, Win PCAP. And if you have any problems once we've configured uh, DustBox itself, like games dropping out or um, missing packets or strange lag or it being inconsistent, uh, switch to either NPCAP or Win10 PCAP. Um, make sure you uninstall Win PCAP first. Um, we also have a README with lots of useful in instructions and explanations of all the steps we're going to take. Um, I feel that having detailed documentation that explains not just what to do, but what it's doing um, helps the end user learn something and be more comfortable with what's happening. So it's quite a detailed explanation. Don't let that overwhelm you. Um, it's very easy to follow. There's lots of examples. Um, if you're not sure as well, just post on our Discord. Um, I'll make sure there's a link in the readme file when this is released, um, if you need help. Uh, right, so WinPCAP installed. Open up our DustBox folder. And in here, we've got a general DOSBox installation. It's been made portable by using uh, a couple of little tweaks. So you can put this anywhere and it will work. Um, the main program is this launch DOSBox bat file that makes sure that it runs using this config instead of one stored in uh, your system user apps folder. So if you have another DOSBox config, it won't conflict as long as you're running it with this, um, this shortcut. You can also create a shortcut to this. So once you put this in your C drive or D drive or wherever you store your games or in programs, just create a shortcut to this, add it to your desktops, send to desktop, give it an icon, do whatever you like, name it, whatever you like. As long as you're running this batch file, it should all work. Um, so we want to open up our DOSBox config file in this folder. I'm just going to edit with Notepad. And um, we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom because that's all we need to touch. And here we have our networking settings. Any 2000 Ethernet pass through. Um, so what we want to do first is we want to change real NIC here to list. Uh, this will help us identify our network device and set up DOSBox. Um, also, we want to make sure that we have an individual MAC address. So I'm just going to change this. Uh, to some random stuff it uses hex conventions so it can be any combination of numbers or letters from A to F. Okay, so I've just put random random garbage in. Um, that's just to make sure that anybody running on the same virtual network or on Kali at once trying to play games together don't have MAC address conflicts because everyone needs a different MAC address, right? So I'm going to save this file, close it, and I'm going to run the DOSBox launch.bat and move this window out of the way. So here in the console window, you can see it's listing my local network devices. I have two virtual devices uh, to do with VMware. Um, 
virtualization, which we do not want. We want our main network card. So in my case, it's a Realtek PCIe gigabit family for Ethernet controller on local host. And that's labeled as number one. So on yours, it'll be named whatever your network card's name. So you might have an Intel network card or um, can't think of any other companies that make network apart from Realtek and Intel at the moment, but it's probably one of those two or another popular company. Um, and it'll probably say, if it's wired, it'll probably say gigabit family Ethernet or family controller or local controller or something. It'll be obvious which one's yours. Um, but if you not sure still, uh, you can look it up by going to your network and internet settings and change adapter options. And here it lists all your networked things. So these are all my virtual adapters to do with VMware and Hyper-V and things. And this is my main network card. You can tell it's the main one because it's under internet access. If yours is not displayed like this, you can do it by grouping by connectivity and then it'll display them by virtual ports and internet access ports. So we know that that's the right one, real tech gigabit. Close these and we can also close DOSBox now and we can go back to our folder, back to our config, back to the bottom and we can change real nick to number one and close. Right, so we are now here in the tutorial, we've completed step one and step two, easy peasy. Uh, now we want to start changing some configuration files. So let's find inside the Retro Game Network folder, inside the Drivers folder, and inside the Kali folder. We're going to change Kali.config. And we're going to give ourselves a nickname. That's not my real name, <laughs> but whatever. Uh, other information can just be anything. Email address. You don't have to put an email address. Some people do. I put my uh, Twitch information. Um, just put whatever you like there. You know, maybe an AIM address or a Hotmail address or an ICQ number or an actual email address. If you want people to con be able to contact you, if you wanted to uh, advertise a way to be contacted to other people playing these games. Um, you don't have to pay anything if you don't want. Um, I like to put in my location, which helps with matchmaking. Um, people tend to get better connection, uh, like latency, if they're local to each other, you know, in Europe, so per se. So... I've had a good experience playing with people in um, in Holland and Germany and other parts of Europe. I'm in the UK, but I've also had good time playing with people on the east coast of America um, because there's quite a good connection between Britain and the east coast. But it sort of falls down a bit when you start playing with people on the west coast of America um, because the connection's just not that great. Um, anyway. Uh, we don't need to touch anything else in this file. This is all pre-configured correctly. So we just save it and enclose that. Next, we want to modify the kchat.config in the same folder. Do that pretty easily. Open kchat.config and we just want to change the nickname. And that's it. That just means if you want to use the um, KChat program, which is part of Kali, which is good for helping organize um, organize parties and setting up games and things, um, and just seeing who's online. Um, you can do that without any conflicts and also not looking like somebody whose name is Change Me. Embarrassing. Um, right, the next thing we want to change is the whattcp.config. This is quite important. And that is located in the Kali folder as well. Um, at the moment, we don't know what to change that information to, so we need to launch DOSBox at this point. So if we go back to the main root folder and launch DOSBox with the launch command, see in the console over here, it's now binding to our network adapter. 
and we're going to type in the command start TCP. This launches the DOS packet driver and the uh, TCP IP uh, programs and the DH it contacts your DHCP um, gets an address from your local network so from your router or modem or however you connect to the internet and whatever gives out your network IP addresses will give you an address so we've been given an address um, 1.21 192.168.1.21. This all looks good. So, and it says our sentence have been written to a config file as well. That's brilliant. Uh, so, what we could do now is we can close this. We can go into Retro Game Network and drivers. We can go into the MTCP folder and find that config file it just updated. We open it. And scroll all the way down to the bottom we should have our IP addresses and the information that we need so we can now update what TCP inside the Kali folder so if we open that document as well I'm just using notepad plus plus great little tool uh, you might use something else notepad regular notepad works wordpad um, other good <laughs> document managers Whatever you need, um, just use that. Uh, okay, so we want our IP address. Copy that and paste that into here. And the net mask is the same already. The gateway is the same already. If they're different on yours, make sure you copy them. And the final one is name server. In our case, that's already correct, but make sure you copy it to match the MTCP file into this file. And we'll save. Brilliant. Okay. That's all the configuring that needs to be done. All that's left now is to run DOSBox and connect to Kali. Uh, so we type in start TCP. That connects us to the internet. And then we type in Kali. And we're now connected to the Kali server, back to the DOS prompt. So um, if you want to see what batch files are already pre-installed, you can do dir slash p. Uh, as you can see, pre-configured in this installation, we've got the shareware versions of Doom and Blood and Duke Nukem 3D um, and some batch files to help us run them. So if we want to play... Um, Doom or Blood or Duke, we type in net and the name of the game. So in this case, we type in net Doom, and that opens up the Deathmatch Manager. So to create a game with your friends, everyone should be at this point uh, connected to the internet, connected to Carly. You should all see your, each other's nicknames in that list. Um, and then you all need to make sure you have the same options selected. So you all IPX. The number of players, so if there's four of you, select four, you all need to select four, um, or just three or two, depending on how many of them there are. The game type, if you want to just deathmatch, deathmatch, co-op, old style deathmatch, that's all fine. Make sure that the start is selected and you're all on the same episode, one and one, or if it's Doom 2. Um, this is just Doom, show where Doom 1, so don't need to touch that. Um, no monsters, skill, etc. And then you all press F10 around about the same time. And it will search for the other players. Now, there's no one else on here for me at the moment, so I will just stop right here and set up another machine ready to connect to show you what a working game looks like. Okay, now we're all configured, we can play a game. I am going to launch DOSBox. And we're going to do start PCP. We are connected to the network and the internet. 
And we type in Carly. Next Carly. There we go. We're connected. We can see a couple of people in there. Uh, number nine, Whiskey, is my DOS PC, which is connected to the internet and connected to Carly. Ready to play a game with uh, DOSBox on this end. Uh, so we type in Net Doom. And we select two players. Go up. Episode one, map one. Looks good. Skill four. I'm just going to switch to the other computer, make sure it's configured the same. I will load up a preview of that on here so you can see. Gonna hit F10. There we go. We are connected. Oh, and there's the other player. If I lean over, you can see it's working. Probably have two lots of music. That's probably a bit annoying. There we go. All right, fantastic. And that's how you do it. Another great thing that this setup allows for is the ability for uh, people using DOSBox to join in on retro lands. So if you're at a LAN party or you've got a home network at home with a bunch of old DOS machines, uh, but you want to make other people to be able to play, uh, you can use modern machines with DOSBox to connect to the same network over IPX and uh, and play along, which is fantastic because the, you know, the more the merrier. There's people on laptops or whatever. Uh, so to achieve this in this setup, we want to type in start. Oops. Want to type in start IPX. So to achieve this, we want to type in start IPX instead of TCP. Now this will connect us to our local network with all of the drivers and um, protocols for an IPX NetBIOS mobile network. Uh, so I can now type in netdo and start the server. And there you have it. Now connected DOSBox and a real DOS PC over a normal modern network using IPX, which means you can now IPX game on Windows 10. So there you have it. Isn't that great? All right. That's the end of this. Hopefully it wasn't too waffly. I'm going to have to cut this down quite a lot. Um, be sure to check out the Discord if you need any help or if you want to find people to join in with. I will put that on the screen now. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.